Here's the field. Armbro Pluto number one, a Dexter Nukes four year old gelding from Leem Lara. Bred by Armstrong Brothers, owned by Distinguished Stable Three of Burlington. Steve Gilmore, the trainer. 15 of 21 starts this year in the money. On June 20th, paced the nation's fastest mile of 1998, 150 flat. Chris Christopher who drives this winner of $314,000. One is Armbro Pluto. Two, D.M. Dillinger, Cam Luck, four-year-old from Misty Silver, bred by Eugene Forms of Walkerton, owned by Michael Watson of Moortown, Ontario, trained by Sean Robinson of the Bill Robinson Stable. Past champion in the Ontario Sire Stakes, a mark of 151-1, and one, taken right here at Woodbine. Winning four in 16 this year, over a half a million on his card, Hall of Famer Ron Waples is in the bike. Two, D.M. Dillinger. Three, Western Dreamer, Pacing's Triple Crown Champion of 1997. Western Hanover, four-year-old gelding from Fits of Fun. Bred by Kentucky on a Farms, owned by Matt Pat and Dan Daly. Also trained by the Bill Robinson Stable and Sean Robinson. Winning seven of 17 this year, over $1.6 million. Three, Western Dreamer. Toontown is the four, a big towner six-year-old from Paris Song. Bred by Andrew Kovath and Anthony Catronio. They, the trainer and owner, Trevor Ritchie, drives this winner of 4 and 25 this year. His mark is 149 and 1, $835,000. Five, Little Stephen. Albert Albert, five year old from Lady Nelson. Owned and bred by Alan Kirschenbaum of Burbank, California. Being trained in Ontario by Dr. John Hayes. Win percentage is 50% this year, 13 of 26. Randy Waples, who won this race last year with Strong Clan, is in the bike with five. Little Stephen. Six is Red Bow Tie, this year's Breeders' Crown Open Pace Champion. Raging Glory, four-year-old gelding from Cheers Lomont, bred by Dana Irving of Florida, now owned by Cliff Siegel, Dielagon Stable, and David Scharf. Dwayne Marfisi trains. Luke Willett drives this winner of 13 and 24 this year, a mark of 149 and 1. Luke Willett driving six, Red Bow Tie. Seven, Noble Ability, Albatross, four-year-old from Mahalia, Hanover, bred by Hanover Shoe Farms, owned by Peter Pan Stables. Joe Stutzman training this winner of five and 21 this year and a half a million dollars. John Campbell, a winner a couple of years ago with Ball and Chain. Seven is Noble Ability. The eight, Ombro Nautilus, owned, trained, and driven by Pat Hooden, co-owners Rob Giles, Ken Glass, and Don Beanland. A Cam Fella, six-year-old gelding from Duchess Patty. Bred by Armstrong Brothers, winning three and 24 this year. His mark of 151 and one, taken right here at Woodbine. Eight is Umbro Nautilus. Nine, Pacific Fella, who won an elimination of this event last year. Cam Fella, five-year-old from One More Kiss. Owned by Ed Lohmeyer, Peter Heffering, and John Stoddard. John Stoddard, the breeder, also trained by Sean Robinson of the Bill Robinson Stable. A winner of nine and 20 this year. Several victories under 150 flat. His mark is 148 and two. Over a million dollars on his card with Cat Manzi driving nine Pacific fell off. And 10 is Dauntless Bunny. The fastest of the elimination winners last week at 150 flat. Owned by Emil Benvenuto of Old Greenwich, Connecticut. He the breeder. Ron Coyne Jr. is the trainer. This son of Precious Bunny from Everglade Angie. Winning six in 20 this year, almost $400,000 and George Brennan drives 10, Dauntless Bunny. Thanks a lot, Gary. One of the greatest uh, races in Canadian history here. They're off and pacing in the 56 Derby final. Firing right out is Red Bow Tie, and Luke Ouellette goes boldly to the front. Armbro Nautilus sprinting on the outside with Pacific Fella. There's Noble Ability in Campbell, spotted at the inside and fourth. DM Dillinger is fifth. Western Dreamer is on the outside, six. Dauntless Bunny is seventh, and parked three wide into the first turn. Armbro Pluto is third from last, then Little Steven in Toontown is tenth and last away. The one parked three wide was 
Nautilus, Dauntless Bunny. Red Bow Tie is controlling it up front. Armbro Nautilus took in from second. Dauntless Bunny's got to go on. 25 and 3, the first quarter into the back stretch. Red Bow Tie. Dauntless Bunny has got to go on. Armbro Nautilus stays there in the pocket. Three more lengths, and Noble Ability is fourth. DM Dillinger fifth. Pacific Fella lays off the speed, but is out all the way from six. Little Steven is up to seventh. Western Dreamer in traffic is back there in eighth. Armbro Pluto ninth. Toontown is tenth. 53 and 3. They've tied the track record for the fastest half ever. Dauntless Bunny briefly to the front. Red Bow Tie retakes. Armbro Nautilus to the inside third, and Noble Ability is tipped out from fourth. Now Pacific Fella has second over cover from fifth. There's three eights to go. On the inside, six DM Dillinger and Western Dreamer is edging closer from seventh. Armbro Pluto eighth on the outside. Little Steven is ninth and trailing Toontown. It's Red Bow Tie. They've got a catch coming to the top of the stretch. 122 and two. Still going strong in the third quarter. 27 and four. Red Bow Tie and Luke Ouellette. You can hear him on his trackside mic urging him on. That's Red Bow Tie into the final eighth. Noble Ability is stalking on the outside. Western Dreamer alongside Dauntless Bunny. It's Noble Ability coming past John Campbell. The Canadian Pacing Derby upset man a couple of years ago. 11 to 1 with ball and chain. 17 to 1 this time with Noble Ability in 150 and 1 fifth. Over Red Bow Tie. It looked like Toontown made a bid for third. Another huge upset. John Campbell, uh, Gary and Ken might feel a little bit like Rodney Dangerfield there, but he got the most Not too of it. often you're going to see these two gentlemen hook up with the winner of this kind of price 17 to 1 Joe were you surprised with the uh, fans dislike for this horse after a big effort in his elimination last week uh, a little bit surprised he went off at uh, quite that long I figured he'd be uh, could be double digits but not uh, not 17 to 1 I didn't think uh, but I, I did I knew he wasn't going to be a favorite but uh, thought he'd be bet down more. the hot early pace uh, kind of helped your horse out uh, John kept him off the pace and uh, brushed him to the front it seemed uh, just at the right kind of time yeah, everything worked out that way. Uh, and he got out at the right time, and uh, you know everything worked out good. Uh, good drive, the horse was good, and everything else. Won this race a couple years ago with Ball and Chain. It's uh, kind of a deja vu trip to the winner's circle here with this horse. He's uh, been in a lot of the major races, but uh, hasn't really picked up a big win. This has got to be a big win for him tonight. Yeah, that's that's for sure. It's his biggest win, and uh, it was nice to do it on a uh, going for 300 and change. So that's always nice. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was good to win it again, uh, and that uh, we've been lucky in this race. We uh, the last four years we finished either first or second uh, in this race, so it's been great. Okay, Joe's got some pictures to take here with, along with uh, winning driver John Campbell and uh, winning owner Bob Glazer. We'll catch John Campbell here for a sec. He just got it. Uh, off the ESPN crew here, John. Race set up perfectly for you. The pace was uh, hot up front, and you laid off it early. Horse finished strong tonight. Yeah, I did leave uh, leave the gate fairly strong, and I was fortunate to hit a hole before the first turn, and I think that was a key. If he'd have been parked around the first turn, it would have been a lot more difficult for him. And uh, as you said, the fractions were strong, and when I asked him to move up on the outside, he, you know, he was very willing, and uh, he, he paced hard for a long time. Uh, even down at the wire, he was still pacing strong, and uh, that's just a, f a big effort to win first up against these horses. Luke had to burn a lot of fuel early with road bout time, made the front, and then he had to counter and come back around here. Uh, your horse finishing strong here. Luke's running out of steam. Yeah, I, I, even coming off the turn for home, I thought I was going to get him. Uh, my horse was wearing him down, and uh, red bow tie was getting tired at that point. So, uh, you know, I, I was really tickled with the horse, my horse's effort. Okay, congratulations, John. you got some pictures to take. John Campbell, ladies and gentlemen, winning the 1998 Canadian Pacing Derby with Noble Ability. Thank you, Ken. John Campbell. There he is. Noble Ability, the 56th winner of the Canadian Pacing Derby Championship. Albatross four-year-old from Mahalia, Hanover. Bred by Hanover Shoe Farms. Owned by Peter Pan Stables of Pepper Pike, Ohio. Trained by Joe Stutzman and driven to victory by Harness Racing's $160 million man, John Campbell. It's 6-22 in 22 this year for Noble Ability. And he paced back to his life's mark right there of 150 and 1 fifth. Making the presentation in the winner's enclosure from the Board of Trustees of the Ontario Jockey Club, Dr. Glenn Brown, and Steve Ruddick from On TV.